Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Lang, and I'm a gynecologist and GYN oncologist with offices in Glendale and in Century City. From an allopathic perspective, uh, yeast or yeast infections are a very common presenting complaint. Uh, we call it a yeast vaginitis because it is associated with inflammation of the vagina. So it typically causes a very uncomfortable experience for a woman, itching, burning, and a characteristic white curd-like discharge. Um, so many women do present to their doctor complaining of uh, symptoms that are caused by yeast infection. Um, so yeast infections are really an overgrowth of candida, um, and the most common species of yeast that we see is candida albicans. And um, this is generally caused by um, a failure of the woman's immune system to um, regulate the growth of this uh, organism in the vagina. It is definitely encouraged in situations where a woman is consuming a lot of sugars, a lot of refined carbohydrate products um, that are broken down into sugars. Alcohol is another thing that a lot of women don't think about, but which is basically just a source of sugar. Uh, and if you've ever baked bread, when you first you add yeast and water, and then you add a sugar source, and that's what the yeast eat to start reproducing, and that is exactly what's happening inside a woman's body. So diabetics, for instance, whose bodies have a hard time regulating sugar, are prone to chronic yeast infections, something that they really struggle with. So the first thing that I have a woman do is cut out sugars in her diet, and very frequently the yeast will just heal on its own. From an allopathic perspective, we do have several um, different treatment modalities to help with yeast infections. My preferred uh, way of treating yeast infections if we're going to use pharmacological therapy is to start with something that is local, that is just acting in the place where the woman's experiencing the symptoms. And that's usually an antifungal cream and there are many on the market. And we also have you know, uh, treatments that of different durations. So we have a one day, a three day, a seven day therapy. Um, and, uh, but if a woman is uncomfortable using a vaginal cream, uh, we also have pills that she can take. Most women will start experiencing relief from their symptoms within a 24-hour period of taking the medication. Uh, some women have symptoms that last longer, and we also have to think about women who have had recurrent infections that may in fact be developing resistant yeast to the drugs that we're using. And then uh, we need to really consider more extended courses or using different approaches like uh, boric acid, vaginal suppositories, things like that, that, um, that work on a longer term basis. If a woman's been just diagnosed with yeast and, uh, and we're quite convinced that it is yeast and not some other infection, either sexually transmitted or bacterial vaginosis, which is frequently confused for yeast, uh, to, to begin her own body's healing process, I would recommend that she eliminate sugars from her diet. Um, so those naturally occurring sugars in fruits are, are going to be okay, but really anything that has added sugar should just not be a part of her diet. Um, and helping to decrease stress levels, improve her sleep quality, is going to allow her body to heal. Um, I'm also a fan of uh, the fermented foods and foods that have live active cultures of um, healthy bacteria in them that can, um, that can help to uh, rebalance the, uh, the, the yeast to bacterial ratio within a woman's vagina. So some women find that eating a cup of plain Greek yogurt every day is going to be very supportive of that process. You just want to be really careful that you're not eating yogurt that has a scoop of jam on top of it with all that added sugar. That is going to be self-defeating. So you really want the plain live active cultures.